There are so many books published today. How can you make yours stand out? Today's video is going to help you figure out how to see what the marketplace needs and then fill that need. Hi there, Jody Brandon here of Jody Brandon Editorial. I work with small business owners, creative entrepreneurs, bloggers and solopreneurs who want to scale their business using a book. And today we're talking all about a book positioning study. You might call that a book marketing analysis, a book marketing study. The terms are sort of not what's important here. What's important is what the activity does. And what it does is studies books that are similar to yours that will be comparable to readers. You might call them competitive titles. I like the word comparable better. Um, but it studies those titles to see all sorts of things about them. We're focusing on two today, content trends and pricing structure. And basically those two items are going to guide your decision making when it comes to writing your book, publishing your book and marketing your book so that you put your book in the best position to fill the things that readers are looking for and help your book succeed. The idea is that you are using this research to help readers choose your book. When they have your book versus someone else's book in front of them, you want to help them choose your book. So let's talk about content first. Look at tables of contents, look at indexes, look, just flip through. What kinds of things are these books talking about that you've identified as similar to yours? You wanna make sure, first of all, that you're in the same audience level. A beginner level book is different from an advanced audience book. You won't necessarily be talking about the same things. You might be mentioning some of the same topics, but you won't be going into detail on the same types of things. So make sure that you are looking at the right audience level when you're looking at comparative titles. So see what's included, see what's not included. If you're looking at 10 books and eight of them are talking about subject X, that probably means that readers of that book are looking for subject X. You wanna make sure it's in your book too. Great pro tip here is to look at reviews, both, both positive reviews and negative reviews, because a lot of times those will give you insight into what readers are looking for, because they will either praise something, you know, I really loved Jody's book because it talked about X, Y, Z when three other books on this subject didn't talk about that and it was something I was really looking for. If you see that in more than a few reviews, that's a great thing to include, whatever subject X, Y, Z is or topic X, Y, Z is. You'll also get good information from negative reviews. I wish this book talked about blank. I wish that the author understood that I already know blank and was looking for whatever. Use all of that information. Take notes, take notes, take notes. Put it into a format that tells you what the trends are as far as content goes. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to take somebody else's table of contents and copy it exactly, but you're looking for trends. If the majority of books in your subject area are covering certain topics, it's because readers want to see those topics covered in books like yours. So you're letting the readers guide the marketplace. They're going to dictate what they want and it's up to you as an author to fulfill that need or not. Now if you're writing for your audience and not just for yourself, that would be pretty easy to do. It's an easy decision. The second concept is pricing. This is where you're determining how much your book is going to sell for. If you're self-publishing, you choose your price. So obviously a hardcover book is going to be priced higher than a paperback. Typically, an ebook is either the same price as a paperback or a little bit less. So you're looking at what other books on the marketplace are charging. And also look at their size when you're thinking about pricing. If all of these books are in the you know, $10.99 to $12.99 price range for a paperback and they're all between 150 and 175 pages, that's probably what people in the marketplace, one, are looking for and two, willing to pay. So if your book shows up at $17.99 for a paperback, for example, and every other book in that category is listed at $12.99 or $10.99, people are going to wonder, is your book really worth that extra five to $7? That's a huge amount of money when it comes to that price point. 
So you want to keep that in mind too as you're doing this comparative analysis to position your book. You want to look at those things. What's the average page count? What's the average price? What's the what's the typical format? Paperback, ebook, hardcover, audiobook. You want to take all of these things into consideration. It's sort of like when we were talking about in another video, which I can link below, about revision being like putting all of the puzzle pieces together, book revision. It's similar here. You're, you're taking all of these pieces from different comparative titles, and then you're making your own book based on some of those decisions. Because at the end, at the bottom line, end of the day, it all comes down to this. You need to help readers choose your book. There are so many books out there. The marketplace can be flooded depending on what your genre is, right? You need to make it easy for readers. And the way to make it easy for readers is to give them what they want. And the way to know what they want is to do some of this research on the front end by completing a book positioning study. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them. I also have a worksheet that I will also link below that helps you sort of start to gather some of these, this information in one place and you can sort of modify it depending on what specifics you, what you're deciding to track. Um, these are just suggestions. And if you like this video, I would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for all things book writing and book publishing related if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video.